ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Todd Bowser's world famous YouTube channel and another episode of our Dynamite High Limit Casino Coin Pusher. I'm back at it again today and do I have a setup. So we got a sea of quarters in the front, not a single high value item available up here. Everything is up here. So we're going to have our work cut out for us getting this top shelf uh, unstacked. With any luck, we can kind of blow right through it. I'm kind of curious to see where... Uh... Oh, actually, you can kind of see them right here. So those orange chips down there, those are our high value, like ten and $25,000 chips. That's kind of actually awesome. And we do have the multiplier back, so if I can get that big red chip right here, it doubles my entire, all my winnings. Uh, so that's kind of cool. With any luck, I can pull that out of here. So, uh, they did tell me that there's another token in here besides the multiplier. So if I can get that token out, I win everything off the sides. Now, I usually wouldn't be super impressed, but if you guys notice, it's not just those $25 chips up there. There are stacks of $5,000 chips. These red chips back there that aren't marked, those are $5,000 chips. So each one of those, give me five grand. You look at the stacks over there. Um, you really, I, I'm guessing there's got to be at least 100 to 200 grand each side. So if I can get that other token that's in here, I get 200 grand at least right away. And that could be up to three, 400 grand. I'm not really sure. I'm not going to sit here and try to count those stacks back there, but we could uh, be walking away with a lot of money today, guys. And uh, today was a pretty high uh, buy-in. I'll put, I'll reveal that towards the end. Um, I like to keep you guys on the edge of your seat, and uh, I'll go over the buy-in when I show you how much I won. And we'll, I'll, I like to do everything all at once. But I will say it's it's a couple. It, it, it's at least a million. It's a, uh, a couple million. So, uh, right. I I think you guys might be surprised though how much my buy-in is at the end. <laughs> that's kind of why I'm holding off. So we do have a really nice uh, drop. All those purples dropped. So we have a whole front tray of $500 chips. Let's get through those first. All right, cool. So, uh, oh, whoa, all right. That was some kind of mess. Some of the chips fell off on the side, but luckily they are the highest, or the one of the lowest valued chips in this entire machine. They're the $100 chips, so I can't, I'm not going to have to cry about that. Uh, now, if we were losing $10,000, $25,000, $1,000 1, chips over there, I might be uh, putting it on pause and running away to the closet to cry. Like I just did. <laughs> Luckily, we, were, we avoided getting any $25,000 chips over here, but we did knock a bunch of $1,000 chips over here. Luckily, if we get that token, oh, no, no, I see the token actually. So right here is our token. We get that golden token out of here. And we can walk away with all the money that's on the, all the chips that's on the sides. So we get to recover all the stuff we spilled. Whoa, look at that. You guys see this stack? <laughs> that is a crazy stack. It's got like two here, two on the top, and one stack in the middle. Oh, oh, ah, am I, that's got to be the next That's gonna be the next one to fall. I mean, there's no way that's going to hold up. And the way it's leaning, I'm going to guess it's going to fall backwards. But um, we'll see. All right, there it is. Fell backwards, of course. All right, so we did pretty good in the first uh, five minutes. We got a nice, uh, kind of the equivalent of if you're playing pool and you do the, uh, the 
the pull break, you break up the balls at the beginning of the pull game. Kind of the same way. Uh, we did a, did a nice setup on that for the first five minutes. And you spend the, spend the rest of the game really trying to recover. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I know uh, I'm pretty excited the weather's uh, back to a standable weather. I can't stand the cold weather um, and I'd rather be outside uh, drenched in sweat. Um, my family is notorious for the amount of sweat we produce, but uh, I'd much rather be outside covered in sweat than uh, be stuck inside because there's a wall of snow at my door. So uh, I'd definitely take that any day. And I used to talk all the time about my dinners. I haven't talked about those for a while. Um, just kind of been in a non-talkative mood, I guess. Uh, but when um, last night when I got home, my uh, fiance busted her back to make some meatloaf, and uh, <laughs> as soon as she put it, as soon as she put it in the oven, she was out. Man, work kicked her butt. She got home, still made a meal, and fell asleep. So here's a little quick praise on that one, but. She made this. She makes this meatloaf, and this meatloaf is really good. Um, I help her make the glaze. Uh, we, we kind of have a team effort. It really should be when you're uh, in a uh, relationship like that. Uh, you shouldn't be coming home and expecting dinner on the table or uh, on your in your plate, whatever. Um, you shouldn't be having that attitude, uh, regardless of what the situation is. Um, but uh, I, I help her out a little bit, and then uh, I, I'm just, I'm not very good at meatloaf, but I'm really good at making the glaze, so I help her out making the glaze, we put it on, and honestly, that's the best part of the meatloaf. Uh, I mean, what do you, I want to hear from everybody else, what kind of glaze do you use? Do you uh, make your own? Do you, you just use tomato paste? I know some people just slap some tomato paste on it and call it a day, um, but I actually really like to, uh, we use like Worcestershire shot, sauce and uh, brown sugar and ketchup and mustard and mix it all together. No, uh, it comes out pretty good. <laughs> kind of on the same trend thought food. The other uh, day before that we had Jimmy some Jimmy John's. You guys ever had Jimmy John's subs? Uh, my fiance uh, isn't a big fan, so we she got she ordered herself some Chinese while I went and got myself some Jimmy John's. And uh, let me tell you what, I, there's something I noticed about the, uh, this place, and it, it's probably the same. It probably rings true to any sub place. So I know, growing up, my mom used to work at Subway, and uh, she would always come home smelling like onions or whatever, and basically like she'd come in walking and smelling like Subway. For us, the family it smelled great compared to my dad coming home from uh, working in the steel factory smelling like butt. <laughs> my mom walked in smelling like a, a fresh sub. So uh, the one thing, the most, the thing I noticed at uh, Jimmy John's, and I'm not, I, I'm pretty sure I did, I discerned the smell to be mayonnaise, <laughs> but Jimmy John's has a scent. So when you walk into the place, it just smells like it, uh, and. Yeah, the reason I think I'm pretty sure it's mayonnaise is because that that's one of the only toppings I get on my sub and my sub smells just like it so you know that's the only thing I can kind of deduce is that it's uh, just a son of mayonnaise because they use mayonnaise a lot but uh, that place lingered it stuck with me all night long I finished my sub brushed my teeth and I still smelled it I'm telling you guys that smell stuck to me I think it crawled its way up in my nose and just died there because uh, I could not get that scent out of my nose. And that's saying something anybody who knows me knows. I've actually had nose surgery, so I don't have the best sniffer here. Uh, so I could walk into a, um, you know, a, 
uh, gym full of sweaty, sweaty dudes and cuts that smell like BO or whatever. And I probably still wouldn't smell them because my nose is that broken. But occasionally I do get a whiff of stuff and I do discern some smells, so that's how you know it's bad if I can smell it. Tonight I'll be going to a surprise birthday party for a friend of mine. But I don't have to worry about ruining the surprise by talking about it here because uh, he won't notice. <laughs> so, um, pretty excited about that. I'm going to have some fun there. I've noticed that in my, uh, over the years as I've gotten older, I have not been a big fan of uh, parties. Like, when I was younger and, you know, just out, fresh out of high school and college, I was all about parties, having friends over every other weekend, once a month, whatever, hanging out, having fun. Not about, I'm not about that life anymore. <laughs> I'd much rather, uh, I, when I get off work, I'd much rather go home, uh, change into sweatpants or shorts, and uh, <laughs> eat some junk food and watch some TV and relax, because work kicks my butt. Uh, so, definitely a... Uh, Nice change to be able to come in here and play for you guys. Besides, uh, besides this, this is really the only place I get out. I am trying to <clears throat> get out this summer. Um, it's the worst thing about working all the time is you have very little energy to exert outside of work. So when you get off work, you don't want to do anything. My days off, I spend literally from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed doing stuff. It's working, I'd rather be working on uh, the, the business here, I'd be working on my house, I'll be working on uh, getting stuff straight and things ready for my future, stuff like that. Uh, that's what my days off are. So really, I don't have good days off, my days off are spent doing that. But, uh, so that's why when I have, when I get off work, I don't wanna like to do, it, do stuff. So, um, just one thing I am actually trying to uh, perfect and get a little better at uh, my, uh, post work uh, work and it doesn't help that you know I work from about 10 or 11 o'clock at night till about 2 o'clock in the morning uh, doing all my online stuff since I manage the website and doing all, do all the web stuff uh, it's a lot of work guys it's not just uh, you know type a couple numbers in and watch it go it's a lot of work it's a lot of thinking so Alright, so I am almost halfway through. However, I tanked my quarters. I am I'm out of quarters. Luckily, we had a nice full tray of quarters. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause, grab my quarters out of my winnings, and I'll be right back. Alright, I am back and I have a load of quarters to keep going. I actually think I have more quarters now than when I started, so that's cool. Um, the biggest thing I saw him uh, actually... Uh, usually when, when he's pulling my winnings out, I like to peek and watch it see if I can notice or recognize anything that's in the winnings that you know I can kind of tell you guys give you an idea how well I'm doing so far um, so uh, somehow I actually noticed that I won that tiny the small token so the little token that gets me everything off the side I won that so those big stacks of red over here and over here those guys are mine the thousand dollars that fell off the side in the beginning those are mine and these big stacks of green are also mine also, there is a $25,000 chip that fell off that, right there, so that's going to come back to me, too. I knew they would make that little token a lot, e a lot easier to win than the, the multiplier, because once I get the multiplier, it multiplies everything off the side, too, so... Uh, that if it's 200 it changes to 400 if it's 400 it changes to 800,000 so see how, see how dangerous that gets dollar token off my top shelf here so I can have a clean top shelf 
and there's a lot of orange over here on the left side so I want to try to clear that off the side too. So without uh, giving me any spoilers or messing anything up for uh, the rest of us, has anyone made it to the movies to see that new Jurassic Park movie, the Jurassic World movie? Uh, I actually was ex hoping to go yesterday, the day was so long and I was so tired after work I did not want to uh, risk falling asleep in the movie theater and, loot and you know missing out on the money I spent. So. I chose against going to movies last night and watching it like I really wanted to. Um, so I'm hoping I can make it in and see that pretty soon. But for those of you who have been able to go see, is it good? Uh, do you think it's better? Does, do you think it measures up to the rest of the Jurassic World? Do you think it measures up to the rest of the Jurassic Park series? Um, anybody who doesn't know, uh, there's, uh, Jurassic Park is a huge, huge franchise. I've been a fan of Jurassic Park my whole life. Literally since I was like eight, <laughs> I've been a big fan of Jurassic Park, you know. A young boy, boys love dinosaurs, you know, just kind of goes hand in hand. So, uh, I've been a big fan of Jurassic Park my whole life, and uh, when they announced that Jurassic World was coming out, back whenever that came out, I was so excited because not only was it just Jurassic World, Chris Pratt, one of my favorite actors, was playing uh, in it, and um, I, I thought that was pretty awesome. Then they uh, threw in a couple other pretty okay, pretty okay actors. Uh, Got to say, the whole Jurassic World first movie was pretty good. They even brought back the, they even brought back the scientist from the first movie with, uh, from Jurassic Park series, the first three movies. So that was kind of cool. But uh, the second Jurassic World, I don't. <clears throat> I mean, it was good. I don't. I liked it. I just don't think it was quite as good as the first Jurassic World. And uh, really, when you look at those two compared to the Jurassic Park series. I don't think you can really compare them right because you're looking at two different eras. You're looking at uh, the, the 80s, 90s uh, era compared to or early 2000s, I guess, compared to uh, the 2022 era. <laughs> I mean, like you're you're comparing uh, candles to light bulbs, really. So uh, with, <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of funny, but um, it's true. Uh, they have different technology now. They can make things look way more realistic. They can do stories better, stuff like that. But I, uh, I have not really watched very many of the trailers or anything for it. the new Jurassic World. I don't like watching the trailers a whole lot, um, just because I feel like a lot of times movies will jam their best scenes into the trailer. So when you watch the movie, you're watching the trailer with extras. <laughs> but uh, a lot of lately, uh, for example, then the Marvel movie I saw, uh, Doctor Strange, completely got me. I watched all the trailers. When I watched the movie, it completely got me. Uh, it was just not what I expected. So. Um, it it is ha it does happen, but uh, the Jurassic Park first couple movies were so they were like timeless. Uh, you, they, I mean, you still watch them today, and if they're co they're good quality movies. Uh, plus, you can't don't get me wrong. I love the actors from the old days too, and that's why I like the fact that this new Jurassic World movie actually brought those actors back. So the guy who played Alan Grant in the first movie came back. The guy. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, you know, uh, Ian Malcolm, the doctor who is a big smart smart butt, uh, real, uh, back in the day, actually I'm pretty sure back in Jurassic Park era, that was when, back when he was like, all uh, good looking, he was a stud, uh, so, nowadays, he's, uh, he's a little older, <laughs> but he is still, Jeff Goldblum's one of my favorite actors as well, so, um, to put them in that new Jurassic World movie with Chris Pratt, I was pretty excited. I'm also a big fan of horror movies, uh, so uh, that's something I really haven't, um, I don't know, there's not a whole lot of horror movies that I've really been gravitating towards lately. Nothing new that's coming out, it's caught my eye. 
So I actually kind of want to ask you guys, any movies you guys want to uh, suggest? I'm actually uh, kind of doing a little movie thing with my, a buddy of mine, trying to compose a list of movies that he hasn't seen, I haven't seen, or neither of us have seen, so we can watch together and kind of compare and you know, get, kind of build our movie uh, repertoire. <laughs> so uh, throw me some good uh, suggestions so I can go and act like they're mine. <laughs> Uh, he's, uh, he used to work at a movie store, uh, back when movie gallery was a thing, so, uh, he is a, uh, he knows a lot about movies, so, there's not a whole lot of movies I have seen he hasn't, um, so, so, uh, give me something I can throw at him that is gonna take him for a loop, um, he's showed me a lot of really good movies, and, uh, he's about ten years older than me, uh, so he, uh, does show me a some things that I... I, some movies that I w I've never watched because I didn't watch them growing up. So he showed me some of those, and I've shown him some of the new stuff that you kind of can't miss. Um, but uh, throw some suggestions down in the comments. Or uh, if you don't want to talk about movies, talk about food like I was talking about food earlier. Give me uh, some ideas for dinner. I uh, am always struggling on coming up with the same with new dinners because it seems like we are we always fall into the same uh, two weeks worth of meals. You know, you, you eat out. At this place, you eat at this place. You make some meatloaf, you make some burgers, you make some spaghetti. And the next thing you're back, back at the beginning, doing it all over again. I know there's a million foods out there, but I'm so picky. My uh, my brother-in-law is also super picky, and we a lot of times we eat together, so it's hard for us all to uh, kind of come up with something that's mutually agreed upon. <laughs> If you don't get the multiplier, there could be a very high chance of me losing today. So, uh, if you notice, I'm kind of gravitating to the left side now, honing in, and trying to get this multiplier the rest of the way off.
All right, so this uh, multiplier is not agreeing with us very well. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it uh, go off the edge. So, any luck. We have a good amount of winnings here. Coming up on the uh, last couple minutes here. Last, full, last handful of quarters here, and I'm pretty much sealing the deal that I'm not getting that multiplier. It's really stunk on that one. But with any luck, we'll still come out ahead. Uh, it's going to be a close one, though, that's for sure. like one two oh okay let me pick up uh, these uh quarters that i dropped earlier there's about six of them down here oh maybe a little bit more than i thought all right so these are all the quarters i dropped so we're gonna try these and see if we can get anything out of these hopefully they carry a little bit of luck but they touch the floor oh okay so that separated each other that's good That's it. That's the last of the quarters. I cleaned off the court, the ground, so we're good there. And that's all the time I got. So I'm gonna put you on pause, count up my winnings, see where I'm at. I'll be back with the total for you guys. So don't go anywhere. All right, everybody. <clears throat> so this is my total. Let me give you guys a quick rundown. So something I didn't throw here. Uh, just a quick reminder. We won the. 
gold token out of here. So we got all the stuff off the side. You'll notice I didn't put the green chips out because I didn't bother. I didn't want to, you know, crowd my area. He, uh, we counted them up. There's five thousand dollars in green tokens. Uh, there's twenty-five dollar chips. So we have five thousand on top of this. So uh, we didn't get the multiplier. Had we gotten that, we'd be, I'd be singing a whole different tune. Unfortunately, uh, today I had a two point five million dollar buy-in. Two point five million dollars, guys. That's a lot of money. So let's see how close I got. So first of all, we'll, we're over here. These guys are stacks of 500,000. We got two of them. That's $1 million right here. Half, almost halfway there, right? This is a stack of 100 grand. This is 70,000 and this is about 5,000. So that's 175,000 in this group column. These are stacks of 100 grand. So we got 400 grand here. Same thing here, 400 grand there. These are stacks of uh, 10. So that's 10 grand each. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 120. So that's $120,000 in these $1,000 chips. Move to the purples. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50,000 dollars in those, and about 8,000 dollars in the black uh, chips. So you add all that together, guys. If you're following me, we're at 2,158,000 dollars. $2,158,000 out of a $2.5 million buy-in. I lost about 300,000, a little, actually I lost over 300,000, over $300,000. That's a little discerning. Um, luckily we've made en enough to, you know, we have enough in our pool of money to keep coming back and keep going. So it's not a make or break today, but uh, I can't have a whole lot of these. Uh, I gotta, I gotta get back to the a million dollars, and I'm working my way to a five, six million dollar jackpot. So um, hopefully this isn't a sign I'm on my downward spiral, guys. But I uh, did really good uh, at, at the beginning. I had a strong start, but it's because the multiplier fell backwards behind everything. It took me so much longer to get it out, and I never, I wasn't able to finish. So unfortunately. Not that not today, uh, but uh, hopefully I'll uh, come back tomorrow and win a whole bunch of money. Until then, uh, just gonna stare at this multiplier angrily and uh, hope the next time it wants to agree with me. Thank you guys so much for your time, your support, and make sure you drop some comments down below. Give me some stuff to talk about and uh, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you same time, same place next time.